Robin Slim Show. I apparently show. Uh, like eat dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Slim Show. <laughs> Hey, is the Robin Slim Show? Yeah. It is indeed the Robin Slim is Show. This the Joe Pontillo. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, nice. did, I called the wrong number three times. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dude? Not that much. How you guys doing? Not bad, Pretty not good, bad. Man. You're a New York City comedian. Last time we had you on, we had a, we had a home invasion <laughs> right before you called. And as they left, they shut the switch off that shut every that shut everything off and I right. thought we lost you know the interview yeah, or whatever I, too. I got really nice. mad and uh, Slambo was really drunk so it was a really awkward interview <laughs> yeah man uh, I was getting all hard yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was later in the show so I guess it's better that I'm on earlier you guys yeah. are drunk uh, that's right. what I made sure I made sure I got you got you back <laughs> earlier man how's it going dude uh, you know, it's good. It's good when shit's happening, and it's bad when it's not happening. Yeah. yeah uh... <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a lot going on comedically, or? Yeah, I've been keeping busy with shows. Uh, you know, working on a couple of projects. Still dabbling in the podcast uh, community. Nice. Whatever you want to call that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your your show, uh, your podcast, uh, is called Comedy Sucks, right? Yes, it's a, it's a living embodiment of everything I believe. <laughs> and you focus on like just bad things you've seen, uh, terrible things that have happened doing comedy. Yeah, like it, uh, when it started, I, I just I didn't even have guests on. I just you know I talked about like how I started comedy and all the awful things that happened to me, and I saw, and then uh, you know after a while you start running out of stories. So then I started having guests on and. Uh, you know, have them on, let them talk about bad shit, and then we talk <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I like> that. <laughs> so far, no one's tried to attack me. So good. <laughs> cool. What's the worst thing you've had happen to you or that you've uh, heard has happened to somebody? Uh, well, in the, uh, I mean, so many things between, you know, audience members rushing the stage and attacking comics. <laughs> uh,. Yeah, a friend of mine, I remember, went to Jersey some years ago, and uh, it was just a horrible show. And then afterwards, he kept making fun of some guy's, like, mother in the audience, and it turns out, of course, the mother was dead because, you know, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy came up to him after the show and, and like, sloppily punched him in the face because he was an old drunk guy, so he really couldn't, you know... Well, of course his mom's dead if you're that old. You right. Fuck. <laughs> All right, he should have just known. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he slapped him with his flabby skin. <laughs> <laughs> he, gu he gummed his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Broken dentures everywhere. There was a cane. <laughs> Geritol, Viagra. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Now, did that, that happen to somebody you know? Yeah, that was uh, that was actually one of my uh, my best friends that happened to. What's the what's the worst thing that's happened to you, man? And then, uh, uh, before I get to that, and then of course, being the, the terrible person I am, after he told me that story, I was like. Yo, can I get the booker's info for that show? <laughs> <laughs> Gets you attention, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> when do, when are you doing that show? Oh, excuse me. I said, when are you when are you doing that show? Oh, <laughs> right now. I'm driving to do it right now. Actually. <laughs> I specifically requested that guy be there. <laughs> <laughs> I want him on my show, too. I want to yeah, book him. I want to get the full experience. I don't want to perform for a bunch of people who aren't going to attack me afterwards. <laughs> oh, that's great. So what, what's the worst thing that's happened to you, man? Uh, hard to really specify what the worst thing that's ever happened. I feel like I'm always pretty lucky. Like, any time oh. there's a situation where it looks like I could get my ass kicked, I kind of just run into the belly of the beast and, like, confuse the person into thinking, like, oh, shit, this guy's actually fronting. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, cause I remember doing a show one time and some bikers were heckling me. Ooh. And just, you know, 
just yeah, just completely destroying my set. Like, and then I forget what I said. It was a while ago. But then they were like, "Yeah, here's the show. I'm gonna make you my bitch." And I'm like, "We'll see about that." And then I got off stage, walked right to where they were at the bar, and they just shook my hand and they were like, "Hey, man, you're a good sport." I'm like, "Am I? What the fuck?" Wow! <laughs> Holy shit, man! That's ballsy that you could that you went up to them, yeah. man. That's fucking cool. Yeah. And then they bought me a beer and curb stopped me. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was a happy ending. It's a good bonding experience. Not nope. a big fan. And one of them obviously ass raped you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why get involved otherwise? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. I love the testimonials on your on your site, Joe. What, what was it like? Uh, oh, there was like a spam bot. Want more likes or something? There, there, there were some great ones on on your uh, website. Oh my god! Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I forgot that I put a bunch of fake testimonials. On <laughs> they made me laugh. I liked. Them. <laughs> Somebody said I, I. He looked taller on stage. <laughs> <laughs> That is the worst thing to hear from an audience member after the show, and they think they're so, like, smart that they came up with that. Like, you look taller oh, on stage. I'm like, yeah, but the stage is three feet tall. So, anyway. Oh, God. People are monsters. <laughs> How often do you perform? Uh, you know, there was a time where I'd be getting up every night. Now, probably, like, more like four or five times a week come on stage. That's good. Who who have you yeah, performed with? I, uh, I performed with uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I opened for uh, Judy Gold. Um, technically, he did the same show as Chris Rock, but he was just kind of dropping in to run some stuff for the uh, when he was hosting the Oscars some years ago. Wow! But uh, yeah, and uh, who else? I don't know. Rich Voss, Judah Friedlander, nice. uh, Colin Quinn. Cool. Okay. Cool. I think the best I meet Colin Quinn in person, and I'm like, yo, man, I love your Twitter account. <laughs> That's what I instantly thought of. <laughs> He's the best on Twitter. <laughs> just trolling everybody. Yeah, you just troll yeah, exactly. You could just brilliantly troll people nonstop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's great. Who's one of your favorite comedians like, just to watch? Um, when I was, uh, you know, just before I got into comedy, I was always huge into Lewis Black. Okay. Yeah, I saw him once. I saw him once, and, uh, I was booing the guy before him. The guy before him sucked, and, like, everybody gave me, like, dirty looks. And then when he went up, <laughs> he went up, nobody laughed, so I just assumed everybody was there to see the shitty, like, opening comic. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. And it was, like, all old people. It was, like... <laughs> It was a big venue. And you were the one guy fighting the fight. Yeah, I was the only guy laughing at Lewis Black. It was like, uh, it was the Count Basie Theater, and it was a packed house. And like I said, everyone was laughing at this horrible, horrible comic before him who sucked. And uh, like I said, they gave me dirty looks. But then, yeah, nobody was laughing for Lewis. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> That's weird. Mm. Being a Lewis Black, I don't know if you guys heard this. Uh, story, but he was on um, Comics Writing in Cars with Jerry Seinfeld a couple weeks ago. I didn't know. And, uh, yeah, and Jerry posted something on Twitter uh, about the show, and he just wrote, you know, Louis Black is on this week, uh, Black's Life Matters. And, of course, that caused a bunch of outrage. Oh. You can't do anything without causing outrage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Especially in February. Shit. Yeah, I might have been in January, so I think, he, yeah. I, I think he got it in just before. But. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I, I wanted attention last winter. I, I posted Black Ice Matters, and it didn't get any attention. <laughs> <laughs> You're not big enough. <laughs> That's it. I was hoping to get big off of that, but it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. they're not big enough to outrage people. But it was funny, because like, I saw a couple like comedians complaining about it, and I'm like, how? what kind of comedian is like... Yelling at Jerry Seinfeld on Twitter, like you right? leave the comedy business after that. Wow! Uh, Holy, she probably, probably what was that one? I don't know. Marsha, what was? <laughs> I don't even know. I can't even think of her name. She just screamed like I hate white people a few weeks, a few months ago. <laughs> okay. Who's that? I don't know. She used to be on a uh, Chris Rock show. Short black lady. 
She's a I lesbian. I have no clue. Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes. Yeah. Wanda Sykes. What did oh, I Wanda say? Sykes. <laughs> Marcia something. Marcia Sykes. Yeah. Marcia Sykes. Wanda Sykes. That's what she did. She yelled. I don't know. She we I mean, did a story a few months ago about uh, she got pissed off at an oh, audience. Oh right. Yeah. Now it's coming back. <laughs> yep. She's outraged. Oh yeah. And then uh, did you guys hear the uh, the George Lopez thing that happened? No. Last thing oh, I heard, yeah. he was a hack. He is kind of well. Besides that, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't hear. What did he do? Uh, he was at a show, and I guess he had some uh, some heckler up uh, front, and he just told, you know kept saying "shut up, bitch," and people <laughs> lost it on him. <laughs> and then I was like, I think that's how he ends all his shows. <laughs> I kind of feel like that would be. <laughs> I didn't he know he was still doing comedy. Shut up, bitches! <laughs> I didn't know he was still doing comedy, man. <laughs> oh yeah, these, these guys never stop. No matter how many TV shows they get, they just wow. you know they they get the bug. They don't want to give up. Mm. What have you done, uh, Joe? You have a couple movies you did. Yeah, I actually uh, in 2008 I made a uh, not quite a feature film, but it uh, sort of was. It was called Street of the Dead. It was a uh, a zombie movie that uh, ended up on a whole bunch of things. It was in the Zompire Dead Undead Film Festival. It's on, like, you know, the big list of zombie movies. It's actually in a book somehow. Wow. And it's a shitty movie. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's, you know, it was low budget, low quality. That's that's fine, dude. That's cool. That's more than I've done. I do, Robin Slip Show. Yeah. <laughs> never... <laughs> I actually did have some other shit. I gotta find that. It's on VHS. But um, actually, on uh, a couple of years ago, there was a the website IO9 did a uh, a list of the 25 most ridiculous films with the words "the dead" in the title, and we were left number 13 or something. <laughs> nice, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's yeah, man. Cool, man. So, so holy shit, legitimacy. <laughs> yeah, dude. What what is that on? Is that on like Netflix or like? Anything like that? Uh, no, you know what? I, I, I'm used, it's not even on YouTube. The trailer's up on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's Street of the Dead. Cool. Uh, not to be confused with the actual Street of the Dead in Mexico, <laughs> which is the second <laughs> biggest Google result. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I used to actually sell DVDs of the movie after my shows, which was funny because... You know, my act has nothing to do with zombie movies or anything. So I'll just be like, hey, want to buy a <laughs> zombie a movie? Zombie movie I made. You probably won't hate it. <laughs> do you do uh, like and the? Like, yeah. I was gonna ask you do uh, a lot of the the YouTube uh, like skits and stuff because I was watching some of your like uh, your parody commercials mm. and uh, you were doing like the the prankster parodies, which are pretty cool. Yeah, I, uh, I I do a ton of stuff on YouTube. I'm actually, it's funny you mentioned those pranks videos, because those were all supposed to be spoofs of actual prank videos. But I think a lot of people thought they were supposed to be real pranks and got annoyed that oh. they all fell apart. <laughs> I, loved, I loved the State Farm commercial you did yeah. and the True Sounds of Christmas. That was, those were amazing, dude. Oh, thank you. That was that was a classic. The true that, Sounds of yeah. you bring more. Warmth at the heart on the holidays. <laughs> what was it? The Lincoln commercial too. That was great. Though he's he's like at one point he's outside. He's like I'm not even Matthew McConaughey. He's doing like a spoof on that uh, Lincoln. He's like I don't even drive a Lincoln. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I've been thinking about doing another one of those where I'm just like, because some of them it's literally like he's acting out the. Uh, you know, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. <laughs> like, that's the vibe I get from him. Oh, that's Fuck. great. What was the other movie you did, Joe? It was um, Hank is Evil? Yeah, Hank is Evil. That one's up on YouTube. Um, that was based on a, on a web series I was doing. And we actually, this year, I don't know if you guys caught it at all, I, uh, we did a Christmas special for it. Yeah, that I saw. For no reason at all. Just felt right. Nice, nice. And what, what's that about? Uh, the entire series or the uh, the movie? Yeah, either way. Like, does do, do they all go together? Oh yeah, they all go together. Like you know, Hank is like that. Kind of started because Hank was actually 
a character that randomly appears in a flashback in Street of the Dead, okay. the zombie movie. And, yeah, and then we were like, what if we, me and my friend Adam, who plays Hank, were just like, what if we did, like, a day in the life of this character? And uh, so we filmed, like, a short video, like, a day in the life of Hank, and then it kind of got popular on YouTube. Nice. I was like, well, now we have to make a full series of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so then it went from a series to a movie to a Christmas special, and uh, now it's going to be a Japanese television show next. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good way to go with it. They get crazy. We just saw. Um, we didn't watch it tonight, but it was a Japanese Trump commercial. Well, or a music video. It was. It was weird. It was fucking really weird, dude. Oh my god! I think I might have saw that. Is there like? A chick dresses like a chihuahua jumping up and down on Trump heads or something? I, I don't know. I like, the neck that, got yeah. really long. It probably is. All this weird shit happened. There's, like, a tank with Trump I don't think it was. I looked into and... it, though. I don't think it was a real Japanese commercial. It was somebody who put together, like, oh, a bunch of people. And it was a made. wannabe goop. It was a wannabe Japanese commercial. Oh, oh one of those weeaboo. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It was somebody who was like, weeaboo. yeah, I read, like, the description. No, no, no. That's a white person that thinks they're Japanese. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, we agree. <laughs> He's trying to blend in. <laughs> Who would want that? I don't know. <laughs> Joe, are you a weeaboo? <laughs> I hope not. I have to, I have to check now. <laughs> if do you your dick's more than, than two inches, do you you're have, not do, a weeaboo. Do you have neck beard? Neck beard. You have right? bad <laughs> neck beard. <laughs> a... Neck beard? No, I think I'm from. I think I'm from the wrong part of the country. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're you're in the clear. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> what um, Joe? What uh? What have you done for MTV and IFC? Uh, MTV. I was on a couple of things. I was on um, was it last year? I think it was last year. They had a. I guess it's off the air already. But they had a show. College Humor was producing a show called The Middle of the Night Show. Nice. And, uh, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a show in the middle of the night where they, <laughs> the host like wakes up a random celebrity and then drags them around New York City doing a bunch of crazy stuff. It's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so I was in the first episode of that, nice. which was fun. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> caught it by complete accident on television one night, so that was cool. Cool. And then um, for IFC, um, I actually submitted a video to them some years ago, and they ended up putting it on their website. So I wasn't officially on IFC, the channel, but I made it Just to their website. Made. That's cool. And at, and at the time, I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to use this as a credit. But <laughs> I would. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I've got Disney on oh, my yeah. credits, even though they, they have nothing. They, they don't like me. <laughs> you like that. Yeah, yeah, but I, I got them on. Was... <laughs> not, uh, not banned from Disney. That's your credit. Not yet. I may, maybe after tonight. Maybe after tonight. <laughs> I know Pootie Pie's yeah, banned. He he did some anti-Semitic shit. Did you see that? I heard about that. I, I'm appalled by the fact that they were even considering giving a TV show to somebody with the name PewDiePie. <laughs> These are the last. They, they, they dropped the bar, man. There's not many people. There's not another Miley Cyrus. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. <laughs> He's the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he did a real funny uh, anti-Semitic oh, joke. Dude. He hired two guys to in India to hold a sign that said uh, "Death to all Jews." That's what I'm saying. That's not a joke. That's <laughs> the, how are you going to say that was misconstrued? That was just horrible, man. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't even get away with. I mean, if you're going to make an if you're going to make an anti-Semitic joke, at least make it clever. Yeah, right. Right. You, you can't even get away with like That's a wink. Like... Even if you winked with that <laughs> sign, you would still be. The biggest asshole. You yeah. still be booty pie. Yeah, exactly. Hey guys, hold these sign and say death to Jews. Isn't this hilarious, guys? Like, come on. Get in on booty pie. Subscribe to my channel, bros. <laughs> <laughs> anti-Semitic content. Oh, that's great. Fucking horrible, horrible. Oh, what is your act? Uh, consists of Joe. Do you do like political humor? What, what do you What do you talk about? I try not to do. I mean, I'll do political stuff, but like you know, it's weird because like depending on where you are, 
people are going to take things one way or the other. So I'm mostly just uh, mostly just talk about myself. I would yeah. say, uh, you know, I've been trying. I I've been working hard and trying to, you know, mix in like hardcore. Like, Hello. Oh my God! I what's think we got a call, Joe. Who is it? Hi, who's this? <laughs> Joni. Oh, Joni. We're doing a show in the middle of an interview right now. Really? Because I'm shitting into a crib in a graveyard. Are you? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Didn't you do that with Pete on Valentine's Day last night? Yeah, she sure oh, did. But I wish his face was underneath my undercarriage. <laughs> Oh, this sounds like one of my fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually our intern's girlfriend, Joe. Oh, yeah. He met her on uh, Ashley <laughs> Madison a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. I got an angry loaf I'd like to smear into his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Sounds like... <laughs> would, you, would you let her tour with you, Joe? Would you let her open for you? Uh... If I open, you mean just walk on stage, vomit, and walk off stage, and yes. <laughs> would you Would you do that, Joni? Yes, I'll walk on stage and open bread. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. I, I am very offended. I had a bit of cocaine. What, what Joni? I had a lot of drink tonight, and maybe you... a Smidge of cocaine. I heard I, cocaine. Yeah, I heard smidge of cocaine. I heard something I about know. shrimp. Yes. Uh, I've got to smell the shrimp from my pants. Well, Joni, let, let Joe get his plugs out before before you... you... Let me get my plug out, too. <laughs> <laughs> How long has that plug been in there? On second thought, it might be better if I open for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a nice open face sandwich. <laughs> that better be part of the deal. <laughs> it is. While you're working with this chick, ah, she brings me a sandwich. I, th I think she meant something else, Joe. <laughs> oh, damn it. She's always got <laughs> hidden meetings and shit. Joe, Joe where can everybody find you? <laughs> Uh, this weekend I'm going to be Friday night at Tribeca Comedy Club in uh, Manhattan at uh, 8 o'clock. And Saturday, uh, Broadway Comedy Club at 10. And if you're uh, anywhere near Long Island, Sunday I'll be at McGuire's in Bohemia at 7. And, uh, you know, JoePontillo.com, at Joe Pontillo, Pontillogram on Instagram, and probably some other things I'm forgetting. Awesome, dude. Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me. Anytime, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care, guys. You Later, too. Joe. Joni, you going to hang on? Yes. That sounds such like a sweet, sweet man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I might be in Manhattan this weekend myself. You should go see him. I'm going to be I'm gonna be there spreading my asshole for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> All right. On that note, guys, we're going on break. <laughs> Should I hang up her Joni or keep her on? Nah, uh, we'll, we'll leave Joni on. Hang on there. I got, I got she likes the music shit. that everyone's listening to, right? Yeah. All right. Here we go. From 20 years Going ago. Going on break. <laughs>